happy half term year 10 um whether it's just finishing and you're going back to school or whether it's just starting and you're looking forward to a week off um i hope you're either well rested or about to be very well rested because when you go back to school i want you to look at something i want you to look at those year 11s i want you to look at how stressed they are starting to get because for those year 11s pressure is really really ramping up at the moment it is really really a time when they start to feel the pressure when they start to feel things getting real and starting and this is why i want you to start advising now yeah like a, over a whole year before your exams because i don't want you to feel horribly horribly stressed in year 11 so if we start now if we start little and often then hopefully by the time that you get to this point in year 11 by the time that you know in a year's time when you're thinking your exams are less than 100 days away you are going to be calm and confident and relax. I want you to get those specifications and I want you to start thinking about what you know and what you don't know. Now I've done this for science and I've done this for maths and then for geography and English over on my website. You can download some free origin guides which basically just take you through lists of stuff you need to know. And you can start ticking stuff off. Yes, I know that really well. I know that really well. Oops, oh no, I missed that lesson. I don't know that one quite so well. I need to revise that. And when I say start to revise, I don't mean spending hours and hours. I mean maybe half an hour at the weekend. Maybe half an hour in the morning, half an hour in the afternoon at the weekend. Just a little bit so that we can slowly, slowly start to build up stuff. And of course, all of this revision that you're doing for year 11 is gonna be good for your end of year exams. and. Your end of year exams in year 10 are important because they're going to determine um, what set you're in for year 11. So maybe you can move up a set, maybe maybe you can move down a set, which, you know, if you push you in the right set is going to be a good thing. It will help the teachers make a determination about what tier of paper you're going to sit. So higher tier students, you know, you can learn the extra stuff. But if you are more suited to the foundation tier, then... We don't have to learn that extra stuff and it's better that we sort that out sooner rather than later. Doing the foundation tier can be a really, really good thing. If you are put on the foundation tier, do not feel ashamed or upset by this. This can be a really, really good thing for you. It is much better that you can do the whole of the exam. You're going to feel much better mentally about this. As opposed to only being able to do the first two questions on a paper and not feeling really, really great about this. So look at the year 11s look at how stressed they're feeling and start to put plans in place so that you don't feel the same way this time next year